Sage for a second here. Today we're going to be looking at the WWE Elite uh, Collection, WWE Elite Collection. This is the uh, line of figures that is supposed to be more of a collectible line. It's supposed to have better articulation than the regular wrestling action figures you see. I did go ahead and open the end so we wouldn't have to take all the time to do all that. As you can see, this figure uh, comes with accessories. It comes with, uh, it's supposed to have better articulation than a regular figure. Paint on both sides. Good sculpted detail on that. Uh, we have the little hat. And the figure itself, just take this out here. The figure itself is wearing a coat. And the, it is fully a figure underneath the coat. So if you think about it, it does pretty pretty good articulation. Paint apps are on the full figure front and back. It can stand on its own pretty easily. With just taking it out of the box, I didn't have to do anything special to get that to happen. Um, so it's a great little figure so far. Um, I don't know as much about this wrestler, but he is supposed to be part of a tag team of some sort. Sit here, take his coat off. This is the first uh, WWE Elite figure I've looked at, so I really want to look at the articulation and see how it stacks up to like a Marvel Legend. One thing I noticed right off is the way that they do the hips, they do have where it can do like a full on sidekick. Because they have a like a joint here and it pivots at, at that same place. This is like DC does their figures. This is Mattel, so it's not really surprising that it would be more like DC figures because it's made by the same company that makes the DC figures. Um, this is a separate piece, it's well sculpted. Uh, it would be nice if it had been hit with a wash so that the detail would stand out because there's a lot of detail on that, but you can't really see it. Same thing with the boot parts here. Um, it does have a, another swivel here. The legs are double jointed. So they basically can do a full double jointed where they're kicking pretty far back. The ankles, they go up and down. But there's no like side to side pivot like you have with the Marvel Legends. So while I could still have him like that, his feet are not flat. So... Um, this would be a good figure if you were trying to make something like a um, mask figure of any kind. You know, he's got the straight up Zora mask on there, or a um, the uh, Iron Fist has a very similar outfit in general. You could easily take that belt off and make an Iron Fist figure out of this. As far as other articulation, the wrists do pivot and a swivel up and down so that you can see it swivels up and down up and pivots all the way around it's only got a single joint at the elbow and the uh, this is a ball that goes all the way around and it only goes up to about 90 or just above 90 degrees there is an ab crunch so he can look down or up, which I'm sure makes it easier to get a better wrestling body slams and stuff if you're doing posing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm actually pretty pleased with the figure uh, as far as the articulation goes. The only thing, like I said, uh, the only thing he's missing that Marvel Legends has is it doesn't look like he has an ankle pivot of any kind, which would make it where he could do a few more dynamic poses in general. But overall, I'm pretty pleased. The jacket really did limit articulation. I would never leave that jacket on the figure. Um, just because not only does it look a little plasticky, but it also limits articulation so much. So maybe if it were here with some washes, it wouldn't look so bad. But it's very, it's very plasticky to me looking at it here in person. I'm not going to do the other figure right now, but I did want to just show that uh, I got some deals on these locally. Uh, but... I hope that you like this video. Like and subscribe. This is Sage Forsaken. And have a great day.